Hi folks, it's uh, Lindsay Bell here from Armit Dietrich and Spin Sucks. Hope you're having a great day. Um, today I want to share with you, well, some of my lesser than optimal personality traits. It's no secret that I can be a bit of a dork. Um, I do things quite regularly like um, lose my send button. I actually lost my send button on Mac mail at one time. That's a great story that Jenny loves to tell, uh, the world to this day. Uh, just last week I, uh, lost my dock, you know, the dock at the bottom of your screen where all your, um, uh, icons are. Yeah. Couldn't find it. Google did everything possible. Uh, couldn't find my dock. Um, Jenny had to help me on that one too. Um, I also do things like buy contact lenses to try them and forget that I actually am uh, nearsighted um, so I can't see things far away so when the contact lenses are in I can't see anything close up so that kind of um, you know tanked in a big way because I was doing my makeup like this like try with a mirror. Uh, yeah. So that was another lesson. Uh, so I, you know, I can be a bit of a, a, a bumbler. What I never do is, um, miss deadlines. I'm a real freak for deadlines. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that I did TV for so long and it was, you know, weekly TV at first and then daily TV, which is even crazier. And I mean, you just didn't miss deadlines. If you missed a deadline, your, uh, product didn't go on air that night. Um, so last week, however, and I shared this story on the blog today, I, um, I missed a deadline <laughs> and <clears throat> I missed a big deadline. I missed the deadline for my blog post for the blog. And that's a big deal, uh, because everyone on our team, uh, is held to a fairly high standard when it comes to our deadlines and, and the blog. And as the content director, I'm re I really should be setting, you know, uh, leading by example, as they say. But no, I missed a deadline. But the reason I missed this deadline, and I missed a couple of deadlines, in fact, is because I didn't do very good planning for last week. I ended up getting really sick, um, which, of course, some people would say you can't plan for, but I can plan for it. I know when I'm going to get sick. I know when, you know, my husband was sick. I knew exactly that there was only, you know, 2.4 days before I would get sick. Um, and yes, the joke is that I'm always sick, but that's life. So I, I didn't plan for the week, uh, ahead turning into an absolute cluster disaster. Um, you know, the word I actually wanted to use, but I didn't use it. And that's what happened. The week turned into a disaster. Um, we had suddenly a ton of extra work on us and all good stuff, you know, all of a sudden a client opportunity arose. We had to prepare a presentation at the last minute, things like that, which is very, very good, but not good when you've not done proper planning for the week ahead. Um, as a bit of a procrastinator and deadline worker, I pushed a ton of work, uh, to the front, I, I front loaded and I really overloaded on the front loading. I left way too much work to deadline. Um, so when the extra work piled on, I not only couldn't hit some of those deadlines, um, I had to ask my team to sort of juggle and make, make allowances for the fact that I couldn't hit those deadlines. Uh, and part of that again was because I also got sick. So I was not functioning at my, my optimum, um, uh, capacity as limited as that optimum capacity sometimes is. Um, so this is just, this is just my video this week. Don't forget that when you're doing planning, um, when you're doing big picture planning for your business or you're doing big picture planning for your clients, don't forget you also have to do personal planning. Um, you have to plan for that week ahead. You have to look at your schedule and say, really, is this feasible? I mean, what if something goes wrong? Will I still be able to get all this done? Will this impact my team in any way if, if something happens and I can't get it all done? Um, how will it impact my boss? How will it impact clients? So that's what I didn't do last week. And uh, I like to poke fun at myself, as you all know. So I thought I would write a blog post about it cop to being a big fat loser last week, uh, kind of say thanks to my team, uh, in that roundabout way 
and uh, hopefully let you guys uh, learn a few lessons on my behalf. So, so that's it for me. I'm feeling much better, and I've managed to clear all those deadlines. So here's to uh, better days ahead. Take care. I hope you have a great day.